Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So in this episode, I'd like, it would probably won't be a very long episode, but there's a few things I'd like to look at. Uh, nothing, no big builds in this one, just some small bits and pieces. So the first thing we're going to look at is actually mending. You'll see on me I've got my no, clipboard. So I want to go and have a look at the mob farm in the nether. I'm not happy about this. I don't have quite how to do it, but maybe somebody can give me a hint. And then I want to sh look at pollution and grass, tree breeding, bee breeding and mending. Now we're going to look at mending first. Because as you may see, I've got on me uh, some enchanted um, jellied, sli jellied slime armour. And it's got mending on it. So what happens is when we do something to gain XP, the things you're wearing, the things in your hand, will actually be repaired. So by having the helmet in my offhand, because I've got my... Uh, forestry spectacles on as you can see um, they will repair so let's kind of look at this uh, just I'm looking at my mini map and just over there and oh, which way is it? that way there is a which is behind me of course there's a creeper that's going to see if we can kill him and, a, and a, now which way am I going this this way let's get the shuriken in the hand so they're very close there gotta be careful of course don't want to get hit Yes, I can hear the, I can hear the, the zombie. Now, where are they? There is the zombie, and there should be. But of course, with trees in the way, it's a bit awkward to see sometimes. So, I just have to be a bit careful. Now, where are they? <laughs> Creepers there. He could be underground, of course, because there are caves underneath here. Well, if he, he must be right there, so he must be underground. So that's not very helpful. Well, the zombie's also here. Well, I would be able to see him if he was if I could, if he was very really close, wouldn't I? So oh, we're here, okay. So they're underground. So another way to get XP is to chop down trees with a, a lumber axe with some um, a copper component, which is what I've got. I changed the iron component for a copper component. And I want to go and chop down some trees over here. Oops, that's not a good place to jump over the water, is it? And you'll see these are butterflies. Now, I think some of these are going to be forestry butterflies now. I did see one. I think these two are both forestry. That one certainly is. If we actually get feet slows down, we can see it. There we go. So, zebra swallowtail from forestry. So, that's been caused because I've got these trees, forestry trees, being. Uh, here and they're growing sort of side by side and if they pollinate which is what I'm looking for with the glasses on we'll see a different colored patch was that another forestry one because they tend to no, I think those are the fauna ones aren't they but they don't keep still so we know that they're not forestry ones <laughs> so let's just chop this down here I want to chop this down you'll notice that if I get XP then on the beside the hot bar on the right hand side you'll see items popping up so I could get some items. So leggings have popped up. And that basically means the leggings have got some more repair. So if I just have a look at the leggings now, there's 117. It won't do those next. It'll probably be doing boots or the helmet. So that's 101 and the helmet is 95. So that's just about done. So let's do this tree as well. So boots was 117 before. And so that's the uh, leggings now. 119, so it's gone up by two. So that's how that works. So that's also how I managed to repair the, um, what have I got? My, yeah, my hand glider. I had it in the offhand and just uh, when I was doing things, it just uh, repaired itself because that's the other thing. That's also not really very expensive, but just a pain to make really. So let's have another nice street down as well. And so the boots got repaired a little bit there. Not very much because there's not very much XP coming from those. Better with mobs. And the and the plants and things like that. Maybe that's another. I can't see. It doesn't look like a man. Uh, it doesn't look like a forestry butterfly, but <laughs> but they do move quite fast. I can't see it. I have to look. I'll have to watch my video afterwards. <laughs> oh, I've got no lights here now. Why not? 
that might explain why the mobs were getting a bit too close to base because I've been uh, an idiot again and put the trees in the way <laughs> right I'll fix that between episodes I think and I'll just go around by the hens pick up the eggs and the feathers I don't really like doing that I'm throwing all the way I'm throwing away the eggs now anyway been throwing away the eggs for quite a long time right let's just get rid of that stuff Otherwise my inventory will get as full as normal good oh there is one more thing I need to put on my list here yeah, because I forgot about it framing table again I think it's like this isn't it? right so let's go and have a look at the next one pollution and grass so I was having a discussion because of that bug. And by putting in grass, it gets rid of carbon pollution. So let's go and have a look up here first of all. Because up here I've got some grass planted. I put one gra grass block down. And I also planted um, some trees, of course, as you remember from a previous time. So you can see here there are almost no carbon blocks gone. And I'm not sure whether it's the trees which are pulling away the carbon or it's the um, the grass, but both of them certainly have done quite a lot. And you'll notice we get plants here as well. So the plants, the flowers I mean, the flowers are basically because of the pollution. So the grass is, normally you put grass block down, you don't get anything till you bone wheel. Well, I haven't bone wheeled this, so it's come up by itself. So let's go down again. And let's go and have a look at the other thing I've done anti-pollution activities I'm taking <laughs> oops don't mean to do that that's a bit faster if you look down you go faster it was the other area of bad pollution and that's because of the smell uh, because of the furnaces a bit of a long way around here I put up some grass blocks in here but I've also noticed I can get up here from through, through the this way I think yeah I put I put down some grass blocks and dirt down here and it basically it's got rid of most of this pollution but there's two uh, sulfur even though I've got on here golden filters now the two sulfur are probably because it's I guess that these in, um, the blast furnace has produced both carbon and sulfur at the same time and it's come out through a different place so, we, so I've added a second chimney to the blast furnace and another a second filter now what I should do of course is to get out and I don't want to get it with me let's have a look no I haven't I should go and clear that up with the vacuum with the vacuum pump get rid of those two because that also produced two blocks of um, podsil my I don't like podsil very much it's very ugly <laughs> now I'm going to have a quick look in here because to do all that mending I had to get quite a lot of XP it basically was 40 XP per book and you can see from this thing I've got it's half full now it's got it's more than half full actually 256 half so I've got plenty of XP from the mob farm so I don't really need to worry about that too much anymore as long as it doesn't get blown up because if you break one block in the the tank all of it disappears so let's look at last two. So pollution and grass, looked at that one. Tree breeding, breeding we looked at that one. Mending, we looked at that. And we'll do bee breeding next. Now, we have got quite a lot, a, a decent supply now of drones. Now, the question, oops, don't want to go there. I've got 64 meadows drones and 64 uh, forest drones. And I haven't, unfortunately, I've got some forest. Yeah, we'll do the. That's an ignoble forest. And we'll take some meadow strands with us. And what I want is one bee house, which is here. So let's put this down somewhere where they're going to be have enough space. So I guess that here is a good place to put it down. Remember, you can't automate this, which is good because we don't want to automate this particular hive at the, at the moment. So we'll put in it. A forest princess and a meadows drone a stack of those 
And the reason you need stacks is because things are going to go wrong and you may need to rebreed that princess back to it what it was before. Um, nobody ever explained this as from as, I, from as I can see. The forest queen and the meadow strain will make common hopefully. Oh it's gone to night time has it? Or is that something else? Oh yep, yeah. 10.30. Right, have a quick sleep. If I can, if I can that is. And you always need to be able to have enough drones in there. You don't need the princesses because you can always set that set that back again to what it was. So you see it's now used one of the 64. So they will come out and then when that's finished we'll have to analyse these bees which we can use the analyzer for. I haven't actually done that but I've got, I entered all of these and I had about 53 cones I got 53 cones from this lot and well I might as well have a look at these as well these are all the um, these are all the all of the plants I found from rustic so we've got the wind thistle the horsetail ginseng root aloe vera chamomile and the other one that back here is cohosh and this one is wildberry and in here this is the apiary I put in one bee I think well, and I got 64 beets and 64 honey, so they, they can be used for other recipes. That was a slight aside, wasn't it? Let's have a look at my list again. Bee breeding, so we've done that. So let's go and have a look at the last item in the overworld. which is the framing table, which I got wrong, of course, <laughs> as usual. Basically, it's these are the important ones, and I don't know why I was thinking what I was thinking about. Where are the other stuff? There are plenty of bits and pieces in there. I want the other framing bits. I think they could be in here. Yes, they are. So let's put these into that. So that actually to drawers, and if you can actually make these drawers like this, I think they're a bit ugly. So we can change the stuff around. So this one here is the faces of the or the sides of it. This one here is the is the edges, and this one this block here will be the face. So let's just put something in that's a face. Oh, another brick. How about that? like that. So you've got the faces of it, you've got the sides and the back, and you've got the, the edges. And actually, actually that's sufficient. Whether that looks good or not, I don't know. Let's just drop it over. Maybe a lighter coloured wood in the middle there would be better. Couldn't use birch, but I think I'll use birch planks. Any item with any block will do, no matter what it is. No, don't like that. What did I have in there before? Oak, wasn't it? So this one will do, this one will do, this one will take those out and put in birch planks. How's that look? No, it's still not quite right. But I quite like the outside of it. Anyway, you've got four drawers. I don't, I don't know what made me think I need to put basic drawers in there, but I don't. That you can use trim as well. That looks that looks quite good. We've got some spruce trim here. And put these in as a darker piece. Let's have a look. Let's do that on the edges. And they get relatively smooth coloured edges. So that's it for framing table today. Now let's go and have a look at the mob farm. I should have with me my jelly darm, which I have got what am I missing here chess piece that's in the backpack let's take that off there we'll also take one of these out with us because we're going to need some of these oh there was one more thing I did over here I re I changed these to being MV wires and cables and this is an MV capacitor and the reason I did that is I wanted to see if it made any difference. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> it still goes to 42. And I don't know whether that's just a visual bug. I don't think it is. Or whether it's a, it's a feature of 
combining these through a relay. Of course, it has to be a medium, uh, medium voltage relay as well, which it is. So I just don't know. I'm going to have to raise a, a bug request for that one. Because as far as I'm concerned, it should work. Oh, I noticed also in Quark, I think I've brought them with me actually, Shift and H, Obsidian pressure plates. I didn't forget about this. Let's write those down on here. Will do. Now what these do is it allow player only access to the blocks. So I'll try to go back in put one there so only players can open this door now which is great I'll have a look around so what I've been doing here is been looking at the, for the nether farm I'm basically also made this go straight down now so I don't have to mess around I've got a marker here because I said where the ladders are to go up <laughs> make sure we've got that in the hand quick look around I also have a look around here as well for that matter. But it's not so dangerous there. In fact, I probably don't need this side. I should probably should clever it up, shouldn't I? I haven't got anything with me useful, which is bad. But we're only going to have a quick look at it today. And what I've done is built a platform. And the platform is underneath the middle of what I think is the middle of the um, fortress. I'm not sure if it is the middle, but I've got to find a way. Because in Forever Stranded Lost Souls, what I did is use Cursed Earth. And I don't think we've got anything like Cursed Earth in this pack, which would guarantee that a mob spawn there. Then, that, then it's dead easy. But as a normal, this is more like a vanilla mob spawning area. So I'm not 100% sure what to do on that one funny every time we tread on a jack-o-lantern it gives another sort of slight noise now it does get quite hairy here and I can take some potion let's get that out oops let's also make sure I've got these off and put on the right ones where's the helmet gone to oh it's in my hand isn't it so let's take make sure we've got a potion here and drink this potion when we get near I'm probably going to do a little bit of fighting because it's fun. <laughs> Actually, it's all right when it's when you don't get killed all the time. Quick check. So I'll drink the potion now. And there is a way down. A bit of lag, of course. I put a way down through here, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to see if there's any mobs around to to grind. There's usually one or two around here. What's a good thing to do is just stand on this. Take a block of... And we've got two. There, it is. there we go. Now these should... Basically repair my armour. Oh, somebody behind me. That's where is he coming from. That must be there. But I've got to go and collect the armour drops, of course. Did I get him? No, he's too far away. Let's just break this one down here. <coughs> and go and pick up the XP. Oh, of course, it would, ha would happen to happen at the same time. And as I pick up the XP, you'll see everything gets repaired. Ooh. That's me. So, three blaze rods, hardly, not too bad. And the armor, well that's fully repaired now, it's just the leggings now. So we go over here, and you'll see there's another one spawned over there. Ooh, an engine, and a magna too, Mag magma. Can I get up here? No, I can't.
advantage of this is it's so fast in hitting things with the with the shuriken you don't hardly get to where's that magma gone to oh it's the nitro creepers I think they shoot their feet. That's an imp, isn't it? Let's go and collect their XP. Oh, and some other skeletons. There's another weather skeleton here, isn't there? Where did he go to? Oh, there's the magma. Got to make sure I don't get any zombie pigment in. Oh, got wither now. Bad. Do I need to work against wither? ourselves a bit. Yeah, basically it's one heart per mob. No, there's another with the skeleton. Might be out of range, who knows not. Oh. Let's see if he's dropped anything useful. So right, <laughs> probably enough of this messing around now. I need to fight somebody else. Let's go and have a look at what I've been doing. It's down here. So what I've been doing is basically laying out this area here, like this. It's not very well lit up at the moment, but it's a, it's basically seven blocks i think uh so that's say so start with that one so that's one three five seven nine across uh, what i'm planning to do is to make a passageway and then build this out here like this so a bit so then i've got a walkway which i can walk through safely and then in the middle of this will then be a f an area for the mobs to spawn but I don't sure because there's so much areas here for mobs to spawn that I'm not 100% sure I'm doing this right. So I want that one there like that. So that's what I'm going to do: build a wall around like this, and I'm probably going to make a builder's wand. In fact, I think that's our next thing to do. So, so in here, I've got some stuff prepared and a chest. So if I got rid of, so let's put in the another. Uh, bricks in here because we need those I don't need that I don't really need the dust but let's take this nether out back with us so I've basically got a mob spot masher and I made some looting upgrades and some beheading ones the beheading ones are for the um, for the wither skeletons I I'm not also not sure how, how to do that well I am I fairly I've got a good idea how I want to do that uh, the wither skeletons I think there's two ways oh no, no. One. So that wasn't too bad. Got back to full health straight away. Anyway, I'll see you at base. Right. So builders one time. Well, I've got actually a lot of blaze rods now. I've got I've got enough from that one trip to, to make a builders one. I think we need three of these to make cores. So let's have a look. Because I for, actually I don't know what the builders one recipe is. Oh yeah, toolkit. I was looking at toolkit because if I go to the last page of this, we could actually make the diamond toolkit fairly soon because we're basically in prismarine large plates. So I need forty large plates. I guess that's made with eight prismarine. Uh, so we've got twenty-eight. We haven't quite got enough for that yet. Anyway, and a block of diamonds is a block of diamonds, so that's no big deal on that one, is there? So now I would like to look at um, builders' wand. 
there's two mine colonies build us a building tool and there's this one the builders one so we need two cores and three bricks uh, one cores are made like this so I can I should have shift click that in shouldn't I got plenty of in fact they're being taken from here anyway so let's put those in there <laughs> typical recipe and three bricks the next level up we're going to have no chance of making for a very long time so we have our builders one so all I need to do there is not enough ones mod is to put that in one of the charges I've got two let's use the battery box it doesn't get used very much and it's got a reasonable amount of power in it and as you can see that charges up fairly quickly I don't know whether that's faster or slower than the immersive engineering one but you can see this goes down it's got had one million joules in it which is I think that's is that 10 million RF well it's full so now we have a builder's one so I suppose if you've got something on us we've got grass blocks on us no, I don't know what it's going to do. Probably put dirt down or something. Anyway, we've got to build this one. Charge it ready for the next... For carrying on building that thing, I think, what I'm going to be using that for. Let's go and put it away safely. I think I'm putting my ones in this chest, I am, yes. Like that. And i also got some tree uh, tree samples in there. Let's go and look if those have actually done anything. And the bees still still breeding down. The reason you choose for forestry and meadows is because it's they're safe and also not only are these safe but they're I'm trying to look at these trees talk, trying to talk at the same time. Oh, I've got my glasses on, have I? They're all my armors now are completely repaired, which is great. So we're looking for discoloured leaves. And there's a few trees around, but of course when I'm in the nether, things don't happen down here unless you've got some chunk lotus in. No. There's nothing yet. And the, the oldest ones I did were over here. Where's that gone to? Here. I think this is the oldest one by the by the mine here. So the, if there's anything being cross pollinated, we'll see it here. And it doesn't look like anything has been. And I'm not sure about this tree because it's got oak. It's got oak leaves on this side of it. Here, so I'm not sure. I don't think these actually, but I think these might have been from another tree. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. So until next time, when we'll do something bigger, I think I'll say bye for now. <laughs>